it's time to begin assembling the CNC here in the shop. We got a standard size Shapoko CNC machine, and this is going to be part of a new series that we're going to be doing. So let's get into the build. Basically, we just need to get everything unboxed first and get everything set aside so that we know what we're working with. We're going to open up this package here and pull out the package with all of the bolts to get everything assembled. First thing that you're going to want to do is loosely attach the waste board to the front and back rails. Then we can go ahead and get this guy flipped over and then attach the leveling feet. We won't level them here, but we will get to that in a later step once we get it on the sand. We can now put that out of the way and begin working on the X and Z axis assembly. We're going to get everything unboxed here. The first thing that we're going to do is install the idler wheel, and then we're going to go ahead and get the spindle mount installed. We'll slide the Z carriage onto the X carriage, and then attach the belt loop over the pulley first, and then stretch it over the idler wheel. We'll then tension the idler until the belt doesn't flex when moving the carriage up and down. Then we can go ahead and tighten the idler bolt to ensure that it doesn't move at all. We can go ahead and install all of these springs. These will help assist lifting the Z carriage. The Z axis moves up and down, the X axis moves left to right, and then the Y axis moves front to back. So now we will go ahead and switch focus to the Y carriage, getting both of the Y assemblies unboxed, and then loosening the V wheels on the bottom, turning them clockwise. This will make it easier to install. We'll go ahead and make sure that all of the bolts are nicely tightened on all the V wheels so that we don't have to worry about it later. Install the Y carriage onto the V rail with the Shapeoka logo on it. We can then get it flipped around and use a box to help support it when installing the XZ carriage. So we can get that slid on and then attach the other side of the Y carriage and just be sure to not tighten those down all the way. And we can go ahead and get the V rail slid in on each side and set up on the actual waste board to get it attached to the rails. Using a box to support the XY carriage, we can get everything assembled much easier. We attach one bolt on each side and then attach all other bolts in a star pattern just like you would do on a car. Go ahead and do the same thing on all other sides. Then we can go ahead and switch our attention to the belts. We slide it in on the first hole and then push it down through the second hole, leaving about two inches or so on each side. Attach one side with a bolt, leaving this nice and finger tight. Run the belt between the rail and the idlers. Then you can push from each side, lifting the belt between the two wheels. And you can put that over the pulley and make it really easy. Pull the belt tight and you can see how the stepper motor moves as the gantry moves back and forth. On the other end, make the belt long enough to allow the bolt to engage with the belt clip. And you can install all the other belts on the machine the same way. Go back to the other side and you can get the proper tension on the belt. This is about how I tension it. It can lift about half an inch or so. Now you have a machine that will move forward, backwards, and side to side. We'll be getting into the wiring of this on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one.